Hey guys, welcome to another exciting tutorial of creating process and today's video we will design this logo. Uh, for this logo I have already created the two colors that is other is one is this and other is black. We'll be using this two color to create this logo and if we look at this logo there is a two text uh, which has been created from basic shapes like the ellipse tool and uh, line segment tool and using that we will be creating this um, letter E and C and uh, we will be doing this and for create this logo with very simple techniques so let's begin with the tutorial to create this we will first take the ellipse tool left click your mouse button let's give width and height to be 200 and click ok so let's uh, remove the color and fill it with this let's give the thickness around uh, 35 let's say and after that We'll make one more ellipse tool from the center. Just Alt and Shift, drag your mouse button, and you can see that it's formed. Now uh, let's give the thickness to 20, and you can just adjust the gap here. It should be maintained. That's all. And after that, we'll use the line segment tool. Create a line segment from this two anchor points. With Shift selected, you can create a horizontal line segment and after that just drag it down a little bit with the mouse arrow key once you've done that we'll create one more line segment from here this anchor point and drag it out cancel it just click and drag it out with shift collected and till this and after that we'll just select all these pieces go to object expand and this will expand this expand this shapes into object form and after that you can go to pathfinder and combine that object so this will be one object and we we are left with this this is a, uh, under ellipse we will convert this into object just expand it and it will be an object form now we can fill this with our suitable colors you could with the eye picker tool you can select this color and this is already black so we don't need that now next step is we will create this portion so to do that we will use the rectangle tool from this anchor point you can just zoom in and work here from this anchor point just drag out and draw out the rectangle select this piece and this piece and subtract it so here you got the gap now to we if you look at this logo you can see that these are cut it uh, in the same uh, lines so we'll do that so we'll take one more rectangle before that just select this object which we want to be cutted with the rectangle tool from this anchor point just drag out and after that select this this and subtract so you got your basic dimensions and alignments here now little we will give this little pieces details so to do that we'll do a manually draw it out with the rectangle so from here just draw out a little thicker then after that give a little bit of thinness and then little bit of smaller one then one more with some gap and this will be a little more thinner you can see here we have given much gap than little than most little but the two pieces are constant so we'll just go and zoom in and just maintain it out we can give this a little bit more thicker just push it down and that's all now select all of this and subtract so we got our gap here and after that once you've done that you can just group this up Control G and in the rotate tool to give it some certain angle I'll give 45 so go to rotate tool give the value 45 and ok so it will rotate to that angle and you formed your logo so these are the few techniques to create this logo you can use these techniques uh, in various other logos you, like this kind or many other kinds hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing you can press the subscribe button thank you